Lagos, you want you didn't refer to your boss as political rascals or Hannes and Dibu. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Hannes and Dibu worldwide, the APS Ibo Social Cultural Organization on Sunday said that Chief Emmanuel Iwanya will never refer to Yorubas as political rascals. Branding the report as false. Ohanese insisted the report was a typical falsehood fabricated by social media entrepreneurs to create anti-ethnic mistrust between the age-long partners in the religious, cultural, social and economic development of Nigeria. The group stated this in a statement by its National Publicity Secretary, Alice Obunia in Enugu State, Obunia denied that Iwanyao did not make such a remark while speaking during an event to mark the one year in office of Governor Charles Chukum Soludo in Aqua, Anambra State on Saturday. According to him, Iwanyao only draw the attention of the audience and the general public to the fact that the Ndibu and Yoruba people were neither fighting nor quarreling, implying that the Yoruba were a friendly group of people. This statement read in part, our attention has been drawn to fake news, making the ramp that the Chairman Council of Headers of Nezendibu Worldwide, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyan will refer to the Yorubas as political rascals. Iwanyan only said, I want to tell those in Lagos State bracket to realize that there is no war between us and the Yorubas, stating that those who attacked Ndibu Lagos recently are rascals who should be arrested. Recall that before the governorship election, Igbos were attacked in Lagos State. The attack followed the win of P2P, the Labour Party, a Lupi presidential candidate. In Lagos, as markets majorly populated by Igbos were attacked and burned down before the governorship election. Now that I've come to the end of the news, my analysis. There's something I don't understand, and that thing is this. Igbos, especially Ohanese, always come out to defend themselves, even when they did not say anything wrong. You will not see another ethnicity in this contraction doing that. I will let you understand one thing here. Femi Fani Kayude insulted the Igbos by calling them rude. And he did not apologize for that. Neither did the Yorubas come out to defend anything. Police did not arrest him. For insulting a whole ethnic like Igbo nation in Nigeria. Onoha instigated the Yoruba talks to go and kill Igbos. Police did not arrest him. Neither did he apologize to Igbos. MC Omenu or whatever you call him is Bolat Nibu's boy, the head of all Abu in Lagos. Whatever he calls himself, as far as I'm concerned, he's nothing. He openly threatened the Igbos in social media. Openly called them Mama Chukude, Mama this, Mama that. If you don't want to vote a piece, stay in your house. Otherwise, I will do you this, I will do you that. Police did not arrest him. Rather, the so-called commission of police came out to disgrace himself in social media. I think that was with Arise TV. He claimed that the man was joking. That the MC Omero was joking, whatever he calls himself. Bola Tinibu did not call that idiot to order. He has so called president elect. But because an Igbo man, Blonia,
Anansis was adopted. Because his audio was adopted, the man with the first word and the second one where he said that the Yorubas and the Ibus are not enemies. They are not in any war. That alone should let the Yorubas know that he was not talking anything bad about the Yorubas. I watched that video, even the one from Channels. That mistake came from somewhere. Someone adopted that video, that audio, I mean. Someone adopted that video, just like the way they adopted the Nam Kano audio several years ago during the time of NSAS protest. Iwanyangu said, I want to tell those in Lagos State that there is no war between the Ibos and the Yorubas. There are political rascals who attacked Ndibo in Lagos. They are, that they are, they removed it, they dotted it. And what they kept was this. There is no war between us and the Yorubas. Now they continue from saying political rascals. They removed there are some political rascals. The person that adopted the video is a child. He did not do a good job. He could have done it in a way nobody will find out. But even like that, some of us are finding it difficult to understand that that video was dotted. This is why I talked about tribalism. Tribalized. Being tribalized. I told you that 50% of Yorubas are tribalized, but Igbos are not. And this is why Igbos are continuing to suffer in Nigeria. That is the truth. If Igbos are tribalized, they will not continue to suffer in Nigeria. The problem the Igbos are going through in Lagos today is because of our so-called politicians. They are not tribalized, no doubt. We love it that way. They will even prefer to aid their slave masters to kill their own people. But in Lagos, it's not like that. I will not talk about other parts of Yoruba because I have not seen anything happening there. Ibos are also the same places. It's always in Lagos. So there is something about the Lagos that people are dragging. What they are dragging, I don't understand. They continue to say Lagos is Yoruba land. We agree. Nobody is fighting them. They are the ones selling the land. They are the ones collecting money, selling the land, going to overseas to go and make money with our money. Let us be sincere here. And after some times, you come back, you want the person that you sold their land to, and he has already built there, to come to Brutu for you. Ah, master. Master. Oh. Master. Welcome. Ah, master. Salut. Master. Oh, bobo the world. Rubbish. Igbos have houses in different places in the world, including Africans, different places in Africa. Are you mentioned talking about Abidjan, Faso, Bamako, Senegal, different places? They buy their land, they build their house. Nobody's disturbing them or coming to tell them you are a stranger, this and that. But in a country where you call one Nigeria, you continue to frustrate the Ibos because they live in Lagos. They buy the land. They are mad that even your brother cannot buy it. And as a greedy, greedy as you are, you sold the land. After some time, you come back, start burning them down. 
and some people are here around them trying to defend themselves for what they did not say. What if you say it? What will you do then? It did not insult the Yoruba politicians or the Yorubas. You only talked about good Yorubas and talked about the, the ones who are political rascals. Are they not political rascals in Yoruba land? Femika is not a political rascal. Honor who is working with Bola Nibu, is he not a political rascal? What the hell are we talking about here? Let us be sincere to ourselves as all beaten around the bush. This country cannot be one. No matter how you see it, there are some people who came out and uh, in those who be respectable people of Yoruba land, they are not the only people. Even some people in the northern part of the country, they endorsed him. The, some people in the, our neighboring Niger Delta brothers, they endorsed him and they voted for him. Even Ohanese was the last people that endorsed him to be. So, what are we talking about? Is this why Igbos have to die and their businesses burn down? How many of those staff have you arrested? The police are going around arresting some people, claiming they are the top. What about the head of the man, the man himself, that threatened Igbos in social media? What the hell is he, do, is he doing? Moving around, celebrating bad day. He has never come out to defend himself. But Ohanese is busy defending. Uh, for what he did not say. I don't understand it. This is why they see you as top class citizen in Nigeria. Because you come not to defend yourself, to defend yourself, even when you have not done anything wrong. When I told you that Hanese has missed their priority, believe me, is it that Hanese cannot get all this blown to be support of Igbo's in Igbo land? After Juku used so many places in the world, they can build the seaport. Get the Nigerian government to accept it. If they don't, they'll, they'll call for out. Simple. If they refuse to do so, they go to Chatham House. I've said it before. And tell the British government, enough is enough. You created this country. They're no longer interested. If they refuse to do something, sue them. To the end. But they will not do that because Ohanese collaborates with those billionaires who are serving Fulani politicians and Yoruba politicians like they are asleep. All they want is money. That's all. They want money in expense of their own brother's life. How many of you died in election day? They go in Lagos State. How many of them? Their business was burned down. Again, they have burned their business down. I think this one happened today or, or yesterday night. Or this morning. How long will this continue to happen? Is it not time for Igbos to get sense and go back to their land? They continue to say that they are the most sensible people in the world. But I'm not seeing anything. One people are busy deceiving them. Every day they continue to buy their land, building different things. Upon that, they continue to kill them. And they're still there. Somebody sold his land to you. He used your money to go overseas. Later on, he came back. I start disturbing you. You have to respect me because it's my land. How is it your land? You saw the land, didn't you? Go and meet China man whom you saw your land to in Lagos to tell him that, you saw, that he, he should respect you because you saw his land to you. You saw his, your land to him. After China, the Indians, half even, should I say half of Lagos, when it comes, when you talk about properties, but they continue to frustrate the Igbos because they are from the same place with them. They can do them anything and nothing will happen. Igbos has turned to people, people treat anyhow in Nigeria. She, for Hanese. Femika Wede can say whatever I want to say and be moving around freely. Honor Hen can say whatever I want to say against the Igbos and moving around freely. The extent of is to getting talks to go after Igbos. Nobody arrested him. But because someone doctored the video, of Ohanese, of Iwanyan, something that is very clear there. How can a man say Yorubas and Igbos are, are friends and brothers at the same time say again that Yorubas are political uh, uh, rascals? The man just said a simple thing. We are not having any problem with Yorubas, but there are political rascals. And these are the people going around destroying and killing Nibos. We are going to fight them together. And uh, 
Fighting them together, you are who is fighting them. If they don't want you in your land, all you need to do is leave and account for your properties, beat them, sue them to court to pay you. Simple. When the Holy Bulls who own properties in Lagos sue the Lagos state government, what the International Criminal Court for their properties to be returned back to them, pay. If they can't, they have to pay for it. They are going to win, whether the Yorubas like it or not. I don't know why people are missing this thing. Go back to your land and develop your land. What is the big thing about it? Instead of you staying there, they were born and die your business one after the other. Enough is enough. Let us tell ourselves the truth. What is happening today? Our so called leaders are the cause of it. Not even the Europe are the plan is. The only thing I dislike about Flan is coming to people's land to kill them. Just like they are killing some Yorubas in their land too. Have you ever seen Yorubas talk, talk about it? Or go fight them back? Rather, they are busy attacking people who are harmless doing their business. And you call them talk. Talk. Who are the people creating the talk? Talk. Who are on that bullet nibu? Talk. Who you see with bullet nibu every time during election? And nobody arrested that same talk. Because why he's above arrest. Obia. He's above arrest. Turn that fire of Funa who declined to make noise. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry for using that language, my viewers. But the truth must be told. I think I've come to the end of this news. The best thing for us to learn and go and develop our land. They dotted the name the Kano audio. Today I've dotted the man in the Wanya video. Because why? Because somebody somewhere don't want you to be that like us. So what the hell are you talking about? I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay, dear friend.